Hey crypto fans, my name is Garrett and hey, welcome to Altcoin Radar, you guys. So today guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to buy and sell NFTs from a complete beginner's perspective. So guys, if you're brand new to the channel and you think you'll enjoy the content that I create, then go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel and guys, give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out and why not, right? And also guys, feel free to follow me here on Twitter as well. You can find the link to it in the description below this video. Um, I like to talk about altcoins, NFTs, day trading, all kinds of good crypto stuff on a daily basis. So guys, you might as well go ahead and give me a follow. All right, guys, so technically this video is going to be a two-part video, okay? I mean, it's all going to be within one video, but um, I'm going to talk about two separate things here, okay? Um, so the first thing I'm going to be talking about here is I'm going to basically be um, talking about and showing you how to simply buy and sell NFTs, um, the very simplest, the most simplistic way possible, okay? And then, guys, the second thing I'm going to be telling you about is I'm going to be telling you about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to teach you guys how to decide which NFTs you should be buying in order to make profits on, like which which NFTs are going to be best to make profits on in the future moving forward, okay? Um, and I'm also going to be showing you different types of NFTs to look out for and stay away from and stuff like that. Um, so guys, let's get started, all right? So uh, the very first thing I want to start off with by saying is there are NFTs on multiple blockchains, okay? Um, you can buy NFTs on uh, Solana, you can buy NFTs on Ethereum, uh, you can buy NFTs on Cardano, uh, Tezos, um, Hive, Wax. Um, there's all kinds of different blockchains that you can buy NFTs on, you guys. But for the sake of this video and for simplicity's sake, um, I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to be showing you this on the Solana blockchain. Okay? Why? Simply because Solana F NFTs are cheap. Um, the you know the barrier to entry is very 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 low. Um, anybody can do it, and it's it's very simple, you guys. So we're going to be using Solana today. Most people, I mean, most people who have like a lot of money and stuff like that are probably going to use Ethereum, uh, which includes uh, you know your Ethereum NFT is because uh, I mean let's face it but the thing is with Ethereum NFTs you guys is Ethereum is ex extremely extremely expensive um, so that's kind of why I'm veering away from it because I don't want to see a bunch of beginners wasting their money on you know expensive Ethereum NFTs when they can just use Solana and spend a couple you know spend a tiny bit of money on it and that's it um, so guys here's what we're gonna do all right we're going to be buying a Solana NFT today. And the very first thing you want to do is you want to download a Solana based NFT wallet. Okay. So the most popular one, there's a lot of them available, but the most popular one is called Phantom. Okay. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to phantom.app. And if you don't already have the Phantom wallet, it's basically a browser based wallet, um, you know, as a browser extension. But a lot of people, you know, they just came out with their, um, uh, uh, I would assume, mobile app as well is this a mobile app i don't know i haven't used it as i haven't used it in a while um no clearly right now you guys it's just available as your browser extension from what i'm seeing um but that's kind of interesting because i saw it on here as well um yeah i could be wrong but realistically here you guys i'm going to be using it as a browser extension i use the brave browser so i have it here on my brave browser um what you're going to do is you're simply going to click download it's going to download you want to run it and stuff like that and then it's going to show up in your list of um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, your list of uh, browser extensions. Uh, so for me on Brave, it's usually right up here. This puzzle piece is usually my extensions, and I can just click on it, and it's right here. So I can just click on it, and it's right there. Um, so guys, the next thing you want to do when you are at this point, if you are already at this point, you downloaded your Phantom Wallet, you've got it all good to go and everything. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to fund it. Okay, so you need to be able to fund it. So you need to basically send um, Solana tokens from a cryptocurrency exchange to your Phantom Wallet. Um, it's basically very simple. Uh, basically, what you'll do is you want to simply just uh, go to your um, Phantom Wallet, I set up a very small dummy account with a tiny bit of money into it. Um, give me just a second here. And basically what you're going to do here, you guys, is you are going to basically, um, you want to deposit money into it. So you, when you come into your uh, Phantom Wallet here, you want to click on deposit, okay? So you click on deposit, and what you will do is you will click on Solana here, okay? So you click on Solana. And then you're going to click on this wallet, this uh, this very first address right here. You're just going to click copy, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to you know your your uh, cryptocurrency exchange. A lot of people use a lot of people use um, 
uh, Coinbase, other people use KuCoin, other people use Gate.io, other people use Binance, it doesn't matter what exchange you use, but you wanna send your Solana tokens from there over to the address that you just copied on, you know, on, on the Phantom wallet. Um, so basically that's how you get your Solana tokens over to Phantom. And then guys, once you have your uh, tokens in your Phantom wallet, as you guys can see here, I just uh, sent over a very small amount just to show you guys how to do this on a dummy account. Uh, we're gonna just do a very simple, basic, um, I'm literally just buying a small NFT here. Uh, that means absolutely nothing to me. So um, the choice that I choose here, I, it, it, you'll, you'll see in a minute here. So what you're gonna do here after this, you guys, is we are going to go to a Solana-based NFT exchange, okay? Um, or you know, marketplace, sorry. And the most popular one that has the most, you know, most overall volume would be Magic Eden, which would be magiceden.io. And you're gonna come here, and then what you wanna do, you guys, is we are going to buy an NFT, okay? So I'm just going to, I already know of a very, very cheap NFT that I can buy. Um, this is, again, guys, this is just me showing you an example. I'm not saying buy this NFT. Um, this is just me showing the, doing this as a complete bare bones example here, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm going to go to Chubby Corgis, okay? So Chubby Corgis. So Chubby Corgis, I wanna buy that collection. So I'm gonna click on it. And as we can see here, the floor price is 0.01. And as we can all see here in my wallet, I have 0 0.04. So there should be no problem with me buying the one of these NFTs whatsoever. Um, so here's what we're gonna do, you guys. So we're just gonna click on this very first one, just for fun, and we are going to click buy now, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna click buy now, it's very simple. It's going to ask me for my approval by my wallet. This is gonna pop up by its own, I didn't do this. And we're just gonna click approve, okay? So we're gonna click approve and it's going to basically deduct the price of it, 0 0.015, plus a small fee from that 0 0.04 balance that I had in my Phantom wallet. So guys, as we can see here, it says, congrats, your purchase is fulfilled. So I literally just bought my NFT. Now, if I go back into my wallet, I can clearly see that it was, de it was wow, that was a very small purchase. Um, as we can see here, wait a minute. Did that not go through? Hold on a second here. Give me just a minute here. That's kind of weird. Never seen that happen before. Nope, it's here. It just hasn't shown up in my wallet yet. Okay, so basically, you guys, as we can see here within Magic Eden, I did for sure buy it. It is right here. Um, it just hasn't shown up in my wallet yet for some reason, which is kind of weird. Um, yeah, that is kind of weird. I've never seen that happen before. Um, but yeah, usually what's going to happen, you guys, is you're going to come to your Phantom Wallet and it's basically going to show you, you know, your current balance of what your balance is right now at the time of, you know, us talking or whatever at the time that you just finished, you know, buying your NFT. I don't know why this is taking so long. I've never had issues like this before. This is weird. Um, okay, so there we go. Now it got deducted. So we went from $5.20 to $3.34. I went from 0 0.04 Solana tokens to 0 0.03. And if we go to this right here, these little four windows, um, that's basically where all your collections are or where your NFTs are. So you'll click on this. And as we can see here, we got one chubby corgi in my NFT wallet. Um, and it's as simple as that, you guys. Now, what you wanna do if you want to sell it, um, since this video is about buying and selling, um, to sell the NFT, you guys, what you wanna do is, uh, well, while you're on Magic Eden here, uh, you'll, you're still logged in if you're logged into your account. Um, which are into your wallet, you're going to click the sell button, okay? So you'll literally click sell, and it's going to bring you to your items page, I would assume. I think that's where it goes, because that's where it just took me. And we are going to click on our NFT right here, and we are going to right here in the price, um, let's see here, price, what is the current floor? So pretty much, you guys, it doesn't matter what you sell it for. You can sell it for whatever the heck you guys want to. It really doesn't matter. Um, but realistically, you guys, this video isn't about me teaching you how to make, you know, how to make the most profits as you possibly can. Um, I will teach you how to make profits, but I'm not going to, you know, I can't guarantee anything, obviously. But what you want to do is I bought it for 0 0.01. I know the Ch Chubby Corgi's um, NFT project and the project isn't going to rise up magically anytime soon. So I'm not going to try to make profit on this. Okay. Um, the profits that I'm going to be talking about are going to be in the next section of this video in just a couple minutes here. Um, so realistically here, you guys, the floor price is 0 0.01. The last chubby Corgi being sold is 0 0.015. So I'm going to list this one for 0 0.014 just so it can get sold very fast. 0 0.014. 
and you just click list now and let's see here it's going to ask you if i you know i i'm basically if i'm sure i want to continue my listing then i'm going to approve the transaction and guys it is going to be listed for sale so let's wait for this to load here real quick and then we'll move on okay so your item is listed for sale and as we can see here you guys if i go to listed items well it hasn't populated or uploaded yet or uh, it hasn't uh it hasn't um, loaded on my end yet, um, but it will in a minute here. But it, clearly, when you sell it, it'll show up that it's listed right here in the listed items section. Um, as we can see here, you guys, let's see if it was taken out of my my thing. Nope, it's still there. Um, so yeah, guys, it just hasn't um, it just hasn't been verified on you know on chain yet. Uh, but when it, once that does happen and it has been verified, it will be listed in my items for sale or listed right here. Um, so guys. Now the next part is I want to show you how you can actually turn a profit on buying NFTs and I want to show you um, what types of NFTs you should be buying and what types of NFTs that you should be staying away from, okay? So guys, that very cheap NFT that I was just showing you, don't you don't want to buy into projects like that, okay? You just, you really don't, okay? I know there's this big rage about NFT projects and people love NFT projects and they've gotten really big and stuff like that. Um, but the thing is with NFT projects, you guys, is you don't want to be buying NFT projects that aren't going to be big, okay? And this is why I say uh, when I tell people, you know, that ask me about NFTs, you don't want to buy into brand new NFT projects. And the reason why is because you don't know when an NFT project is going to do a rug pull or not. As of right now, where the NFT market stands, there's too many rug pulls happening. There's too many scams happening. And there's just too much random BS happening that you don't want to deal with that nobody should have to deal with. So... Uh, for the sake of security and simplicity here, you guys, I just straight up tell people, stay away from brand new NFT projects, okay? If the project hasn't even minted yet, or it's about to mint, or it's about to mint very soon, stay away from it. You know, I can see the FOMO of wanting to get into it and getting that first one and possibly getting a rare one, but stay away from them, guys. They're really, really not worth it, okay? The NFT projects that you want to be looking at are NFT projects that have been around for a very long time, even have a very, very, very strong community, you guys. Um, we're talking about projects like D-Gods. Um, you know, these are projects that are on the Solana blockchain. Um, yeah, they're a little more expensive, but you're buying a very quality NFT that is definitely going to probably be worth something in the future. Um, when you are buying a smaller NFT, like those chubby corgis I was showing you a little bit ago, you're not going to turn a profit on that. It's going it, to it's likely never going to happen because that project didn't take off. It wasn't a big project. It wasn't a very well-known project, and it's not a popular collection. Um, as we can see here, you guys, this is where I go to figure out what NFTs I'm going to buy. Um, I literally click on the popular collections tab, and these are the ones that are popular. And I mean, Degenerate Ape Academy. That is a very popular NFT project on the Solana blockchain. I mean, these came out a long time ago and they have they their steam hasn't stopped. They've been on a, you know, they've been on the run for a long time already. So, I would definitely trust the project like that. And I would have no problem buying into a project like that. Pretty much I would have no problem buying into any project on this page, you guys. And for the simplicity sake of, you know, just saying the fact that you know, they are very popular projects, they've been around a long time, and they're not going anywhere, and they have very strong communities, you guys. Um, so realistically, stay away from brand new NFT projects, okay, guys? Because um, you don't know if the NFT, it's too risky. You don't know if they're going to do a rug pull. Um, and honestly, there's been a lot of rug pulls that have happened. Even if the project says that they're not going to rug pull, I've seen a lot of people say that, and they end up rug pulling. So don't trust it. Um, only go with NFTs that have been around for a long time or NFT projects that are very reputable, okay? Um, you know, D-Gods, um, you know, G Degenerate Ape Academy. Um, we've got Galactic Gecko Space Academy, or, you know, Galactic Geckos. Uh, there's all kinds of them, you guys. Uh, Soulsteads. Um, there's all kinds of uh, very popular ones that are really cool. So stick with the popular ones, you guys. Um, but overall here, you guys, um, I really hope I did the best. I did the best I could to try to, you know, answer these questions from a beginner's perspective. I hope that it was full of detail or enough detail to be able to help you guys out. Um, and if you guys have any questions or anything like that, hey, guys, feel free to contact me on Twitter here. I really do not mind whatsoever. Um, just send me a message, whatever, you know, give me a follow, send me a message, whatever you got to do. And I'll do my best to respond whenever I possibly can. But uh, otherwise, you guys, that pretty much does it for this video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, guys, before you guys leave, don't forget to follow me here on Twitter. You can find the link to it in the description below this video. Um, I like to talk about, you know, what altcoins and stuff like that. But uh, otherwise, you guys, 
Um, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey guys, with that said, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you guys in my future videos or chatting with me here on Twitter.